What is up everybody, this guy Smiley here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at six custom minifigures that I made from the movie District 9. Uh, I made these figures about three years ago now actually, uh, before I even had this channel up and running. Uh, but I think that if I made them today I wouldn't do very many things differently actually. I think that they are still uh, up to my standards today. <laughs> my very strict standards for everything that I build. So let's get started with this video right now. Alright everybody, here are the first two figures that we're going to be taking a look at. Uh, we have Wilkes, the human who was infected with the alien spray can of something that I don't know what it was in the movie. <laughs> but he got sprayed by it and he slowly turned into an alien um, in the movie. And that's what the uh, main plot line was, how he was slowly becoming an alien. Pretty pretty sad actually. So that's why he has a alien hand there, because that was the first part of him that went to the other side. Uh, it's it's a uh, CMF, a collectible minifigure series hand from the Fly guy in the Halloween series. Uh, that figure was really nice because it gave us the dark red version of this hand, which I painted black here because the only other minifigure it came on was actually Davy Jones in Pirates of the Caribbean, the Pirates of the Caribbean series. And that figure is very rare, and it came in dark tan on that figure, and that part goes for about $12. And on the left here, we have Christopher, the alien prawn. Now, uh, he has a paper, the some clothes made out of paper. He has a little jacket there and little pants as well. And his head is made of Sculpey. Um, it's not the most optimal uh, sculpting clay to sculpt with if you want to make a Lego piece because it is very delicate and it is very breakable and brittle once you uh, bake it in the oven. So I would not recommend using Sculp Sculpey if you want something that you're, you're going to want to like take off and place on other figures or play with a lot. Uh, but it does, it does work if you just want something for display, I guess. But it's just really hard to work with, too. It's, it's not, not a pleasure to work with. <laughs> As you can see, one of his antennas already broke off there a long time ago, and I lost it. So I <laughs> never got around to making another one. But he is really cool. He's painted all in this uh, this kind of dark tan color with a black wash all over. He's using some battle droid legs for his battle droid legs, battle droid body, and battle droid arms, except for the one that's holding the gun. The arm that's holding the gun is a skeleton arm. It's just a Lego skeleton arm that has the, the hand going the opposite direction so that he can hold the gun upright. And the guns are actually... This one is a 3D printed gun. This one is a pretty hard to find gun, but you can get it from Shapeways on Jonathan's Battlefield Bricks shop. I think that's the name of the shop. It'll be on the screen right now. It's on Shapeways and they make 3D printed guns. Um, I also bought a, there. this one was originally black. It's in the black detail and I have another one in black detail as well that you can see now. Um, that one is one like this, but I did not want to paint that one because I decided to use the brick armors one because I like the way it looks a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit more accurate, I think, to what the actual gun looked like. And I got another one of these guns in white, the frosted white, which is a little bit more expensive, and I have not painted that one yet. So I, I started off with the cheaper material to do my first try on, but my first try turned out to be pretty good, actually, as you can see there. <laughs> and then the brick arms gun uses some cut Lego antenna pieces. I just cut off, cut these apart, and uh, taped, glued them on there to give it that, uh, give it the spikes that it has in the movie, which are really cool. The, uh, the and this this gun also has spikes, but they're very small, right, right on there. So it's kind of a common theme with the uh, District Nine weapons. And the head to Wilkes is just a Harry Potter head. It, Wilkes, the figure himself, doesn't have much customization except for the painted hand. Because uh, I, I thought that combos, just regular parts, worked pretty well for him. Um, he has a Harry Potter. Uh, it's from, uh, what's his name? Victor Crumb. It's the Victor Crumb head from the old Harry Potter series. So, yeah, I think that's just about it for these figures. They turned out pretty well. Uh, I really like the guns, especially. The color scheme of these is just really nice and really uh, very original. Very instantly recognizable as... District 9 weapons. Now this side of the guns you can see is different. It's kind of like the worn side. 
because I couldn't decide if I wanted to do worn or the uh, nice factory fresh clean versions. So I just did one side in each style so that I could uh, display it on either side uh, depending on which one I want, which style I want. So that's a way to get the best of both worlds there. <laughs> Here we have the two, we have two of the MNU PMC soldiers, the private military contractor soldiers. I think that they were private military. I'm not sure that they were, I don't think that they were like government military or anything in the movie. But these, these figures use the, um, another part from a series minifigure actually, the minifigure actually, the hockey vest for the armor pieces that they wear. I took the printing off of the vest with some uh, print remover. It's uh, Brasso. I took it off with some Brasso, and then I added the decals on there. I made these decals from scratch, actually. I took the MNU logo from the from uh, Google Images, and then I put it on there, and then I drew all this stuff in Microsoft Paint. Uh, same with the back as well. I drew all that stuff in Microsoft Paint and printed, printed the decals out, sprayed them, and put them on. And they've got some shoulder de decaling too, and then the we've got any the uh, MNU insignia on this shoulder, and then this guy's hat is painted with the MNU logo, and then their guns are also painted as well. With the these are like the worn versions. I used some black wash on there to give it a very worn and dirty look, and they've got the MNU insignia, the letters on the stock of the gun on both sides. I'm, you guys can see that probably if you look right in there. You, it's on both sides. And yeah, that's pretty much it for these guys. This guy's hat is not Lego. It's actually a minifig uh, by Minifig Cat. They make all of the custom the custom minifigure uh, mil military parts. <laughs> a lot of custom military parts and they uh, make some really cool stuff. And these sleeves, by the way, are from Tiny Tactical. They're the the uh, 3D short sleeves that they sell. You can either get bonded to the arms, or you can get them separately and put them on yourself. Next we have this MNU SWAT team kind of guy. He's really geared up. He's in all black, and he has a custom sculpted vest that I made from Sculpey, which was a real hassle, because uh, it kept on breaking. Uh, Sculpey is very, very, very brittle, as I said before, so it was really hard to make something this thin, but I was able to get it to work, and I was, I just had to be very careful with it, and I had to cook it actually on, like, a, a random minifigure torso that I didn't want, because otherwise it, it just kind of, like, fell down and melted, <laughs> so, but I was able to get it done, and it turns out pretty, pretty nicely, actually, I really like the look of, look of this vest, with the three big pouches on the front. And then he's got a painted MNU in, um, letters on his helmet there. And a painted MNU gun as well. This one is does not have the wash on it, the black wash that I used on these guys. Because I wanted this gun to look a little bit cleaner. Uh, have a, So I could have a clean version of the gun as well. And it looks pretty nice. And last but not least, we have one more of the MNU soldiers, this time using a custom molded vest. Uh, this is actually not really a custom minifigure per se, it's more just a combo minifigure with parts that I had on hand. Because I got this vest about uh, a year ago, um, a year ago, and I got it quite a while after I made these figures. But if I had had it when I made these figures, I definitely would have probably painted it and um, used it in one of the MNU soldiers. Because this vest is actually made by Amazing Armory, a company that is no longer in existence. They went out of business a very long time ago. Uh, but their parts are still super awesome. I, I really would wish I really wish that some company would come along and make these kind of like really detailed custom ABS plastic parts because I know that a lot of people would want to buy them. And they just look so awesome, in my opinion. Uh, you, and we can compare it to the uh, the ones that I actually made right here. Uh, I think that the ones that I made are pretty pretty well representative of the way that the vest looks, considering that these are really hard to find and you can't get usually more than one of them. Um, most it's very hard to even find one nowadays. 
But I think that these vests work pretty well if, if you don't have these. But certainly these look pretty uh, a lot more uh, detailed and accurate than these do. And finally, here is the completed lineup of all the figures that I made. These guys look pretty awesome together, even if I do say so myself. Con even considering that I made them uh, three years ago now, they still do look pretty dang cool but when they're all lined up like this with all of the figures from the movie. But I think that is going to be it for this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of these figures. Do you guys like them? And let me know if you guys have ever made custom figures before from uh, a favorite movie of yours that you have watched. Um, District 9 is not really my favorite movie, but it, it was a very good movie. Um, I watched it a very long time ago. I might have to go back and watch it again sometime. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.